we've seen that to get the supply curve of an individual firm, we just look at the part of the marginal cost curve that's above the average variable cost curve. So how do we get the market supply curve? Well, if you have a single firm, then the single firm's supply curve defines the market supply curve. If you had two firms, let's say they were identical, well, you just add them up. In this case, you would just double all of the quantities. So at the price of 13, the single firm provides a quantity of 10. So if there were two firms, you would get a quantity of 20 at the same price of 13. Similarly, at the price of 5, a single firm produces 6. So that if there were two firms, they would produce 12. And so you do this for every possible price, and you get a supply curve for two firms. And you would do the same thing if you had many firms. You would just, if they were all identical firms, you just multiply the numbers by the number of firms that you have. So if you have the price 5, then you just, if you had n firms, you'd have n times 6. And at the price 13, in terms of n, 10 quantity, you'd have n times 10. So in this case, for example, for 4, you'd have 24 and 40 as a quantity supplied. You were just adding them up horizontally. So if you add up four of identical supply curves horizontally, it's a, it amounts to multiplying them by four. What do you do if these firms are not identical? So let's suppose you had two firms that had supply curves S1 and S2. Well, any price lower than this, firm one is not going to supply anything. Only firm two is going to supply. So the market supply curve is just going to follow firm 2 supply curve at any price lower than the price where firm 1 becomes active. As soon as firm 1 becomes active, you, we just go back to adding them up horizontally. So at this lowest price P, where firm 1 becomes active, firm 1 produces unit 2 units and firm 2 produces 5, so we add them together to get 7. So at this price P, we start to have a supply of 7, and so forth. So let's say P prime is this price right here. We've got 5 units from, from 1. We've got 9 units from firm 2. So in total, we've got 14 units. So that's what, that's the point through which our aggregate or total supply curve passes through. So just adding up the supply curves horizontally gives us the market supply curve.